When will this market stop punishing the cloud stocks? Lately, it feels like nothing these companies can do is enough for this market. If they report a good quarter, nobody cares. If they actually miss numbers, then they're toast. (laughs) Consider the case of HubSpot, the cloud-based digital marketing platform that we've been mentioned a few times before. HubSpot's been one of the standout performers of the era. Two years ago, the stock was at 83 bucks. Less than three months ago, it was north of 200. But going to the quarter last night, it had already sunk to 151. And today... Well, it got beaten down to $145. What happened? The company did report a terrific quarter last night. HubSpot beat expectations in pretty much every single line. That includes earnings, where they made 32 cents per share. They actually have earnings when Wall Street was only looking for 24 cents. Better yet, management raised its forecast for both the top and bottom line. Three months ago, before the cloud stocks went out of style, this would have been a picture-perfect quarter, and the stock would have shot higher rather than going down six bucks. These days, the cloud stocks are no longer fashionable. So investors look for even the slightest imperfections to give themselves an excuse to sell. And on the conference call, CEO Brian Halligan gave you just what he admitted to, gave you just what you didn't want to hear. He gave you disappointment. Quote, I feel like we had a really solid quarter here. 33% growth was really good, really solid. It could have been higher. And the reason it wasn't higher wasn't macro. Hmm. Uh Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Halgan goes on, quote, I think the reason it wasn't higher was more execution on our side earlier in the year. Hiring, we fell behind hiring, and that's rippling through. End quote, ouch. It gets worse. Halgan goes on, quote, the other thing is just we, we had an outage back in March, and that outage was kind of a big deal. Like, we talked to a lot of customers about it. It really impacted them, and we take our responsibility very seriously, end quote. I mean, that's why HubSpot's guidance for the next quarter was weaker than expected and why its stock got clobbered today. Nobody cares about the results when the outlook's disappointing. Why should we care about HubSpot? I mean, HubSpot, why, why does this even matter? I mean, honestly, I mean, I bet most of you have never even heard of HubSpot until just now. It's the kind of outfit you only know about if you're in business with them or if you're in some sort of momentum fund. But there's a good reason for you to care. See, HubSpot helps its clients find new customers and expand. These clients tend to be small, medium-sized businesses, SMB. If you go to the company's website, they highlight a spokesperson for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland saying how HubSpot's done so much to bring in new visitors. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is many things, but it is not a big business. Which brings us to the real problem here. I can think of practically a dozen outfits like HubSpot. Do the same thing kind of as HubSpot off the top of my head. A dozen fast-growing cloud-based marketing companies with momentum stocks. Each one has at least a half billion smackers in sales and $6 billion market cap, just like this one. If you hire HubSpot, I bet they do a great job. Although they did have that major outage earlier this year, and that might not, and they may not have enough salespeople. You know what? To get salespeople, you got to have a stock that's continuing to climb all the time. Uh, But here's the question. Who the heck even needs something like this $6 billion company in your portfolio? After listening to that conference call, I know I sure don't. Plus, in fairness, HubSpot has a horrible chart, and many momentum traders, the kind of money managers who might be willing to buy the stock, they're also chart followers. After last night's dispiriting conference call, it's just too easy for momentum traders to dump HubSpot and swap into a competitor with proven management, like, say, Adobe. Two days ago, Adobe held an analyst meeting. They were very, very bullish, good guidance. It stock a heck of a lot cheaper, selling for less than 30 times next year's earnings. Well, HubSpot sells it for about 89 times. Or you can swap into Salesforce or Zendesk or Ring Central or 5.9, which just reported a terrific quarter, by the way, of its own, sending the stock up almost 9%. Sure, these are very different cloud companies when it gets real granular, but they're all part of the same turbocharged growth cohort And it's kind of like if we were playing MI Diversified, I'd say they're all the same thing. At the end of the day, we have a glut of cloud-based software stocks like HubSpot, and that makes them all tough to own. After that quarter, who needs it? Definitely not you and your portfolio. Stick with Craig. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.